Hey gang, welcome to another episode of Millennials with Matt. This is number seven. Hopefully you've enjoyed these videos. Hopefully they've been helpful for you and your organization as you work with your new millennial workforce, kind of charting a course for the future of your organization. Speaking of the future of your organization, let's talk today a little bit about what makes a right cultural fit for your millennials. And probably every organization is asking that question, how do we become the right cultural fit for millennials? There are three big things I want us to focus on in this short little video. One is you need to build a culture of collaboration. The, the millennials have grown up in a world of teamwork and team building. Uh, they've grown up in a world of working together and collaborating on projects. They've, they've started in t-ball and, and sports and school and they, they came into college and they've worked on projects together. And so the idea of coming into a new culture that doesn't support the ability to have self-directed work teams or any sort of cross collaboration is going to be foreign to them. So as you take a step back and look at some cultural things you might want to work on, one of those things is going to be collaboration, working with uh, teams, uh, but also offering feedback. That's part of the collaboration process as well. And so we've got to be willing to uh, maybe enhance or even uh, create a faster paced feedback system. One of the things I always encourage um, managers and coaches to sit down with their man uh, millennials about is to look at what's an appropriate uh, time frame for feedback. Millennials, we know, like feedback all the time. That's not gonna be possible for coaches and managers. However, the yearly performance review, that's not gonna work for millennials. And so what we need to do is uh, meet kind of in the middle and say what would be appropriate. The other thing I think that works well with feedback is if you set up maybe a quarterly uh, performance review, your peers and their peers can come in and give them feedback consistently. So maybe as a coach, you're only meeting with them once or twice or three times uh, in a year and a quarter, but also their peers can give uh, feedback throughout the weeks. So it doesn't really matter. And finally, part of the culture of collaboration is empowerment. How do we empower our uh, millennials, uh, give them autonomy and give them decision-making ability? The second thing I think we need to focus on when we look at our culture is a culture of communication. This means that our communication has to get faster, more nimble and agile to uh, work with the millennials because that's what they're used to. So how do we make a fluid and more organic uh, style of communication within our organizations? Our communication has to be transparent. It has to be authentic too. It's that whole level of trust that we're trying to build with the millennials. And the more transparent and authentic our communication can be with them, they're going to respond by coming into our organizations. The final part of culture of communication is that it's gotta be modern. Part of that is looking at new tools and technologies like social media or, uh, or, or video series like this that helps you communicate with those millennials. But also design and branding have to be important. No longer will it be that black and white photocopies are going to work in your organization. They've got to be galvanized and excited about coming to work in the place that they work. So branding not only happens on the outside of an organization, it also has to happen on the inside of an organization so that we can respond to that branding and get excited about it and then become brand ambassadors for you. So that's the part of the culture communication as well. The last one is a culture of purpose. Millennials need a culture of purpose in order to join your organization. That means they need to understand what's the impact the organization has on the world around it and what's the impact that they have within the organization as well. This, uh, this culture of purpose has to touch upon what's the meaning of what we're doing. Why do we do what we do? This culture of purpose also focuses on a values-driven organization, not just the bottom dollar, but what are the values we hold true to, and then how do we drive those forward in every single day and every single action. And finally, for this culture of purpose, it, there needs to be a vision of the future. Where are we going? So we know where we are, we know what we do, we know why we do it, and then how do we get there? How do we get to the future? If we can focus on those three things in our culture, a culture of collaboration, a culture of communication, and then a culture of purpose, I think you're gonna be well on your way to attracting millennials to your organization. Hopefully you've enjoyed this videotape. Check out the rest of the videotapes, check out my tweets, my Instagrams, my podcasts, my blogs, anything you want to. It's all over at growingmillennialleadership.com. Thanks again for tuning in, and I hope to see you on the next video.
Bye. Take two. Alrighty then.